Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another unbox flip through and it's for this beautiful deck here, you know, very, very known deck, the Tarot of the Hidden Realm. And this is a deck that was calling for me over and over and over again. And uh, I put the, in my, you know, check out the box and uh, out, in and out, and uh, finally, you know, uh, it's here with me. But uh, this is a deck that is really beautiful. This is Julia Ferry and Barbara Moore. And uh, this, they do have a very unique way that uh, they have the cards and with the uh, you know zoomed in into their faces it's like their faces are telling the story the meaning of the cards it's a very beautiful unique way and this is a beautiful big box you know Llewellyn have those beautiful boxes you know magnetic here open on the side and this is a uh, with the 240 page book okay with the guidebook and you can see here opens this way it's golden sorry about some glare here of the light i will avoid that with the cards and it's a beautiful guidebook and uh, barbara moore and the guidebooks you know the artist julia jeffrey and uh, the book is uh, barbara moore and barbara moore has beautiful really really good guidebooks you know with all her decks and i'm really happy that i have another one you can see here 240 pages a full page for each card you can see here black and white and let me see if there's anything else in the beginning yeah some information here what is tarot about the you know in case you, you you buy this and it's your first deck as well reading is essential who can read you know there's lots of information before getting into the deck itself and uh, you can see here this is a beautiful book lovely quality here guys okay this is all matte here, but I know I think the cards are not. I just took off the plastic here, but I didn't even look at the cards at all. Okay, so you can see here this beautiful, beautiful uh, details here. What I'll do, I'll shuffle at the end and get one card. I know this is not an oracle, no, but uh, just to read the full page from the book and you have an idea of what to expect on the guidebook as well. Okay, lovely quality here. And uh, you can see here the back of the cards, you know, some people think it's a tree, some people think it's a dragon, you know, because it looks like eyes here. It does look like a, an alive tree, you know, I don't know if it's so much like a dragon, but it's beautiful. It's between silver and like a lilac, very clear, it's beautiful, okay, I don't know if it's with, with the light here, if it helps or not, but it's lovely. There's no gilding here, you can easily gild this into a silver maybe lilac color could be looking really nice and it's a tarot deck so all the 78 cards as you can see here it's, it's more on the face on the on the expression okay this is the full here it's lovely and it's on the thinner side okay Llewellyn but uh, I like it because it's very easy you know to to shuffle and it's standard tarot size okay it's a little bit shiny here on the on the name as well you can see here the full i'm gonna go quickly through them okay the magician and i will read from the guidebook maybe one of them so we see what is a card for of the day just to see what they have and know what she has on the book so you have an idea of what the kind of message she has in the book because i always really like her guidebooks so the high priestess empress and you can see here they have this Beautiful expressions. They don't really follow them right away, I don't think. Maybe a little bit, but you will need to know the meaning of the cards, okay? But I feel like you can get so much intuitively looking at their faces. I have seen over and over and over, like, um, walkthroughs of this deck, and it's always something that's intriguing me, and I always wanted, and for some reason, I don't get, but really happy to, you know. The Emperor, the Hierophant. You see, like, the expressions that they have. You see here, the lovers, beautiful. How they have these beautiful ways of looking, you can see, like it's a way for you to really read intuitively. Hermit, there's a couple of chains because this is a fae, you know, fairy card uh, deck. So you can see here, like Fortune Fairy, okay, Justice. So some of the names are a little bit different. Hanged Man, so you can see there, like you can see how with the eyes, so I see Death here expression temperance really beautiful and you can see this 
beautiful nature as well with this deck shadow dance okay for the devil and the blasted beach for the tower you see here so a little bit different the names the star the moon look at this so powerful the sun the life renewed for the judgment and the world you see here beautiful screen woman and the ace of wands all the aces i believe are animals i'm not sure i think so two of wands three of wands beautiful beautiful deck four i'll go quickly through them okay guys but i'll we'll read at the end and you can see here they have these beautiful expressions in all their faces eight of wands and nine of wands ten of wands very interesting for the ten of wands page all the pages are like children knight the queen of wands the king of wands you can see here the ace of cups you see another animal see lovely here the connection you see the expressions are really beautiful i feel like you can get so much just like take your time reading you know take your time digging into the details the beautiful beautiful details in this card in these cards six seven eight of cups nine of cups ten i'd say you do need to know a bit of the meaning page so this one was not a child okay night queen and king i don't understand very much this these two here i think they don't go together as queen and king this is very young I don't know so, at least for me ace of swords two three four swords five six uh, you, you would need to know a bit of the meaning guys but i mean i feel like you can read so much intuitively with this powerful ten of swords beautiful like still fighting page of swords knight of swords queen and king beautiful you can see here how lovely the ace of pentacles really nice two you can see here they have some beautiful expression guys Look at that taking care holding on yeah really lovely look at that seven of pentacles lovely They have some very interesting, powerful, beautiful expressions. Page, knight, queen, and the king of pentacles. Beautiful. Guys, this is a deck that I, I knew of all of the, the pictures I have seen many, many times. The, the walkthroughs, but I wanted to add here to my channel as well as I'm adding all of my decks. They are, they really are beautiful. I feel like you really can get some interesting different readings here, you know. So definitely a deck that I'm going to be using more. And have these beautiful fake creatures and uh, beautiful expressions. Really, really interesting. I feel like you can dig in and see so much more here. I'm just going to mix here a little bit and just get like one card of the day i know it's just a star but i'll get us one card of the day maybe this one is coming out is it okay the moon i love this moon here it's very very powerful just to see here what is saying on the guidebook so i have an idea here okay really really
really good quality of this guidebook. I'm really happy with this. So for the moon here, and you can see here, guys, uh, she has a full, you know, page and a half for the moon. I'm going to read here so you have an idea, okay? The moon. So many come to her to know what is unknown, to see what cannot be seen. The answers are sometimes riddles and sometimes not. Twisted knots. She can undo them. See the truth in the center and lead the way to the holy places. She likes to put her ear close to the earth and hear it breathe. It only works, though, when it is as silent as death all around. Her horns keep getting in the way, keeping her from the whispers that she longs for as desperately as a lover. In the earth, all the dead, animals, fairy, humans, tree, rest like babies in a womb, sometimes willing to share their secrets. She can hear their stories and see the path only in the dark, but it is not easy. The energy, the visions, the voices of so many dead flow so weirdly sometimes. Faintness overcomes her and she presses to the earth, yearning for stability and begging for silence. When her prayers is granted, the moon creates monsters to grab and clutch at her. But she holds back her cries and remembers who and what she is. She reads the scratched picture. She tells the way, the straight way, so that they can find what they are looking for, holy wisdom and unholy truth, their deepest dreams and their most horrible fears. Without her, they never find their way. And then you can see here there is a long divinatory meaning, you know, like uh, just informing what the moon, you know, is about, you know, that coming back for secrets. And you can pause here to read if you want, okay? I feel like this is a beautiful way of explaining. You can see how they, she's connected really with the, the power of nature as well. You know, when talking about uh, the, the moon in this case. But uh, overall, because this deck really shows like the fake creatures outside, you know, nature, a lot of nature. So I feel like this is a beautiful deck. Like always, guys, I will leave the details below if you want to have this for yourself. And this is a deck that I was really looking forward to get it. And I'm definitely take with me to read the full book now and, uh, you know, get to know a little bit more. And you will see for sure more in my pick a card readings and you'll see this deck a bit more in my channel. If you like this video, let me know, leave me a comment. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.